this time around I want to create a rocket. I want to let one of these grandchildren or children shoot stuff. So first off, we're going to create a rocket class. So over in new class, we're going to create a rocket class. Rocket. Oh, come on. Rocket. Now this class is going to extend the dead parent class, actually. Uh, so extends dead parent class. We're going to make some more significant changes to it, which is one reason I wanted to do this. So public, uh, we just need some additional fields. And really, we just need one. Uh, private double acceleration. This is like the speed of the rockets, like the boosters. All right, now let's have a constructor method, rocket, that just calls super dot, oh, just super. And then it sets a number of things. So we only, I'm gonna only have this rocket be able to be fired to the right, as though we're kind of doing a side scrolling game or something. So we're only gonna fire it right. So we want, it's gonna be traveling right. Right equals true. Left is always gonna equal false. Up equals false. Down equals false. And I want it to be a different color, so color equals color dot red. Let's set a different width and height. Width equals Let's just have this things be five by five. I don't even know what that's gonna look like, but let's try it. Okay, so we have a different constructor here. Now we can use the dead parent classes set position method uh, to do, you know, to just handle the travel for us, even though it, you know, might as well since it's already here. Um, so let's go over into rocket and set position, or yeah, set um, public void update. We're just going to override update. So set position. Uh, we're going to call super dot set position super dot set position, and then underneath that we're going to increase the speed uh, plus equals acceleration. So that's going to make it travel faster as it goes. I'm going to make another method called public boolean is active to test whether or not it's on screen and this is just gonna say if its exposition is greater than inheritance dot or main dot width um, return false because it's off the screen to the right hand side and then if not return true it is still active this is just going to help us remove it from the array list of whatever it's uh, being contained by. So now we need to, the compiler is still angry at us because we're extending the abstract grandparent class now, or the parent class, so the abstract, the dead parent class. And what do we need to do? We need to implement a draw method because this thing does not inherit from anybody that knows how to draw. So public void draw graphics 2D G and we are just going to G dot set color color and g dot fill rectangle uh, and int remember it has all these ints right that's a shape like the dead parent classes are a uh, shape that knows how to uh, that has all these fields so this is already gonna do stuff okay but we need to now go make a uh, one of the grandchildren be able to shoot it. Uh, so let's just make another uh, grandchild off of uh, child two, so it can jump. Sure, why not? Uh, so we're gonna grandchild two, um, and this is gonna extend child two. Extend ch extends child two, which has uh, the ability to jump. Um, public grandchild to the constructor we'll just call the super constructor the parent class is constructor and this thing needs some additional fields so it needs an array list private array list of the rocket objects called rockets we need to import array lists 
part of the utilities. And right here, let's just initialize rockets equals new array list rocket. Um, okay, so we have this array list of rockets, but we need to um, add things to it. So the grandchild of child two already knows how to jump all over the place. We just need to change things where uh, we want to add a new rocket. So um, let's say, so that is under key press, so public void key. We're going to override the key press method. We still want it to be able to uh, move around and jump and stuff. Um, so we need to call super.keypressed. But we want to add some additional functionality. So we want to say if k equals vk, oh, key event, sorry, key event dot vk, let's say a, we're going to use a to shoot. Then we want to add a new rocket. So rockets dot add new rocket um, but this isn't going to do much because it's like not giving the position of the child yet so we need to take that in in rocket so we need to have rockets constructor take an int x or a double x double x double y and store those things this dot x this rocket's x position equals the one passed over, and this dot y equals the one passed over, so that um, this grandchild two can send it its mouse, its its x and y position, or whatever it is currently set to when it uh, shoots one, so that it looks like it's shooting out from the um, the rocket. Let's do plus width because uh, it's on the right hand side. Okay, but we need to update the rockets. Are they updating? No, I don't think they're updating yet. So let's uh, have the grandchild update those things. So we need to have this grandchild override update public void update. So we're going to call super dot update, and then we're going to use a for loop for rocket r rockets r dot update. And then we need to draw them. Um, oh yeah, we're gonna keep track too. Um, so we have to remove them if they're off screen, otherwise we'll have like 400,000 rockets fired and like two miles to the right. So for int i equals zero, i is less than rockets dot size, i plus plus, now this is not, There's there are different ways to iterate over when you're going to remove elements. This can be a little bit dangerous, but we're going to do it. So if rockets.get i dot is active equals false, if it's not active, then rockets dot remove i and we have to decrement i because we've removed something from the list. So it's possible that we'd screw this up. Um, so just make sure, you, oh, not increment, decrement. Um, now we need to draw all the rockets. So we're going to override draw, public void draw, graphics 2D, G. And here we're going to. Um, just a second, I'll make this so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, Graphics2DG, we need to import Graphics2D into this library, and then we're going to say g.setColor. Um, oh, can we just call super.draw? Let's do that. Super.draw, and then we're going to only repeat the code that we want to, that's new. So for rockets, rocket. That's the type R for the array list. Go through the array list called rockets. R dot draw. And is it possible that I've done all this stuff correctly? We need to add one to the demo panel. So let's add a grandchild two and run it. See if we can select the grandchild too. 
Um, is this the grandchild too? Uh, I think it might be, and I don't think it's firing anything. Um, okay, so I'll fix that up, and I'll come back to you in the next video.